everybody just got this brand new multimeter in the mail and it is defective I want to show you how and I'm not going to try to fix it it's a $20 multimeter I'm just going to return it but I want to show you what's going on with it okay now I've got the black hooked up to common which is the ground negative I'm doing DC voltages okay not doing AC and I've got the red hooked up to volt milliamp okay that's just for DC and I want to demonstrate what's going on with this and why you should return it that is not an X that is a positive mark <laughs> I thought I should clear that up this is a good battery okay I'm gonna set it to 200 okay voltage DC I know you probably okay volt DC that's what that symbol means right this is AC over here this is DC voltage DC I'm gonna set it to actually 200 for real this time okay now this is a 12 volt battery it's fully charged now it should not read it should read 12 volts or below right I'm doing this one-handed so let me It's a 12 volt battery, right? Why is it reading 22 volts? All right, now I thought, well, maybe it's this battery got overcharged. So I got a control, right? Triple A, 1.5 volts. Cheapy will not put out more than 1.5 volts on a good day. Okay, Dollar Tree. Now, what I did was I just took a reading. I did it with two hands before. Why is it making two point anything volts? It's a 1.5 volt cell. Okay. I don't know what's going on with it, but that's what it does. I think there's a resistor that is not where it's supposed to be or one missing. I'm not sure. That's all I got for this one. If you get a multimeter that does that, return it or toss it. I get to return this one because it's under warranty and it's brand new Amazon. Thanks. Out of here. Bye-bye.